Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Mauricio here with another review. And today we're going to be looking at Iron Factory's IFEX-02 Turrets and Manacle, also known as Six Shot and Slammer. Before we get to the review, let's look at the accessories. All right, so I got these guys uh, used secondhand. So he's missing some weapons. He's supposed to come with four of these. Um, very nice sculpted. Silver paint up here. And again, he's supposed to come with four of them. I only got one. He's so they're supposed to come with four of these uh, little rocket packs. Also looks very well. Red paint right there. Mine came with two. It is what it is. He's suppo they're supposed to come with uh, two of these kind of guns. He came with he didn't come with any. Uh, this is from the jazz set. I'm sorry, not Jazz, the, the Dotson Brothers set. Mine came with one of these shields. He's supposed to come with, uh, I believe, two of these shields. So I just put one from the Dotson Brothers set in there. So I'll show you guys that they're identical. And he comes with two, they come with two of these guns right here. And these are six shots guns. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, nicely sculpted. Silver on the top, right there. It's about the only paint. And as you can see, these guys, like every other figure, early figures from Iron Factory, they have all these uh, five millimeter ports all over the place, so you can put them anywhere. He holds it well. He's got ports right here, so you can put them here if you want. Put them on your shoulders if you'd like. So you got a bunch of options with that. Same with the shields. Has a port right there. You can put the shield on his shoulder if you'd like. Put it right here. He's got also a, a slot right there. He's got a port right there. You can put that back here if you don't want it to look all hollow. These can go anywhere as well. Put them on the foot right here. On his shoulders up here. So you can arm them up all you want. Same with this guy. He's got ports everywhere. And so you can do the same thing with this guy. This is doing the Michael Jackson over here. And I believe with this gun, you can like do a whole bunch of crazy nonsense also. Like put all this stuff together like so. this off come on it's got ports right here on the side which I guess you can create your own little stuff and let your imagination run wild you know you can do whatever your little heart desires there but it is what it is so yeah everything all interacts together and that's it for accessories we'll get back to that later so first let's look at uh, six shot his head right here focus focus what is that silver paint right there for the for the eyes he can look down a little bit he can look not much up but it is on a ball peg you do the whole 360 so that's good uh, arms on ball peg so he's got a little bit of a butterfly right there goes all the way around can go up up to there ball peg right here so you got 90 degrees you got rotation that's about it nothing for the waist same for the other side it's got nice yellow paint there silver paint silver paint silver paint so that's cool top of his guns are like in, colored like in a maroonish kind of color this is just red plastic all right, let's go for the hips. Can go out that far. Can kick up that far. Can kick back that far. He, they're on ball peg, so he's got a, a little bit of a rotation there. But he also has a cut, a thigh cut, 
So he's got thigh rotation there, silver paint right here, silver paint right there on the knee, maroon strip right down there, nice little silver paint right there on the toes, the knee, due to transformation can go all the way up like that. So you got good posability there and there's nothing for the ankles. Same for the other side. That's what he looks like from the front. That's what he looks like from the back. He's got a little bit of paint right here. A little paint right here, maroon. So he's pretty cool. I like him. Now for Slammer. He's a little guy. Let's look at his noggin. That's nice uh, blue paint right there for the visors. A little metallic baby blue. There you go. It's on a ball peg. But because of this, it's going to be hard for you to reach it. But he does look down right into his cavity right there. And he does rotate. Again, it's just a little pain because of all this shoulder stuff and the neck piece back there. Blue and silver paint right here. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's just plastic on the... In the crotch area, he's got yellow shoulders. He's got yellow paint. So that's pretty cool. This articulates for some weird reason. I don't know what it's for, but I just keep it in there like so. Um, shoulders are on ball pegs, so he does get a little bit of a butterfly. All the way around. Well, maybe that's why it's, you can move it all the way around. Can go up that much ball peg right there so he gets about a little bit more than 90 and you got the bicep swivel this is white paint this is silver paint right there <clears throat> same for the other side now the hips ball joints can go out that far can't kick up that far. Can't kick back that far. A little bit of wiggle waggle because of the ball joint, but he also has a cut on the thigh. So you have that. The knee, due to transformation, can give you more than 90. Uh, toes, you got a toe tilt down because of transformation and a little bit of up. He's got silver paint right here, silver paint right here. The threads are painted with that gunmetal and silver. That's what he looks like from the front. He looks like a squashed figure. This is what he looks like from the back. Silver paint right there, silver paint right here. Silver paint on the back of the neck. So pretty good. Huh? Pretty good. And for some size comparisons, here's our boy, and here's the Hasbro Legend. So there you go. All right, let's get a uh, six shot <clears throat> done here. So what you're going to do first is grab some of these accessories here and just lay them out so what we're gonna do is just separate them right here put that guy over there then we are gonna flip this out over like so we are gonna if you want you can turn this around and then we're gonna move the arms in there's two little tabs right here right there Right here and right there they just correspond with each other and that's basically it for this guy and then you got little guns right there <clears throat> and put him to the side for the bottom part what you're basically gonna do is on his crotch he's got this little We'll call it a robot penis. Stick it out like so. I'm going to flip his legs all the way around like so. And they're going to 
form that little piece like so. And you're gonna grab his guns and tap them in to right there, like so, and like so. And then you got that going on, it's another gun. So these guys are basically made for the, the Titan class Hasbro Metroplex. <clears throat> But I don't have him, but they basically fit on any uh, five millimeter port. You just peg in. So my only Metroplex is this guy. And he's got ports everywhere. And I know they fit well on his hand. So you can do that. Like so. And put him on there. Same with this guy. This flips around on me a lot, so it's kind of hard to get get it in there Let's say it just moves on me but it does fit we got that going on pull out a little bit more so you can arm Metroplex up all you want which is pretty cool you can even put on all these shields on Metroplex because he's got ports everywhere put shields back here for God knows what reason but you know you can do stuff with him so that's stuff you can do um, what did I see I saw somebody do something like this like they put a shield up here so it just doesn't look so so weird I guess or was it on the sides? I think it was on the sides. Yeah, it was like this. I made a shield like this. So the guns look cooler, I guess. So you got that going on. So you can arm them up however your little heart desires. You can put these guys on the sides right here. And you got little rocket launchers. You can even put these little rocket launchers on Metroplex if you'd like. Give him more more stuff to shoot at put it in his arms so again you got options for what you can do with a six shot so that's him in a nutshell well he's not gonna be able to stand so we'll do that for the time being <clears throat> Now let's go to Slammer. So Slammer is a little bit simpler. You're gonna pop this, this all the way up. Then you're gonna align the thread, the treads accordingly. Like so. Well, before that, I'm sorry. You're supposed to Rotate the waist around and then all this can come up in nice and flush right here. So you got a little slot right there that that's going to fit into. Same for the other side, a little slot right there. And then that should just stay right there. And then two little tabs right here on the bottom. And then that goes in like so. So you got that part done. <clears throat> Uh, toes, you can hide them down here. You can tab these if you like down. Mine, for some reason, don't stay tabbed in, especially on the top. So once I do the whole collapse thing here, they're supposed to tab in right here to this part of the toe. And then this just slides right in. Like so. For my, some reason, mine does not tab up here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If they're not meant to tab in, there's a tab spot there, but I don't know. <clears throat> so yeah, I got that going on. And then you just rotate this around. This comes down, and then you got your boy. <clears throat> now this does come off. I forgot to mention that. So if you don't want to use this, you can, you can again, put this on Metroplex, or you can... Put it on six 
guns and put it right there. You know what I'm saying? Do crazy stuff. Do whatever you want. It's your toy. But he's supposed to look like that. And that's what he looks like. Doesn't look bad. And then you got all these little things going on here. And put these two cannons like on the back. Use them as thrusters if you'd like. Put a gun up here. He's supposed to come with four of these, so I'm sorry. My apologies, guys. Do whatever you want. Put little shields on him right here so he doesn't get any battle damage. So you can do whatever your little heart desires. Whatever your mind and creativity helps you with, you're golden. You can even put these guys on here if you'd like to. Let's put him. Let's put him there. And we'll put him here. So you can do that. You can do all that crazy nonsense. But let's take a look at them individually. Put all these accessories to the side. So six gun. He's a two-parter. So he transforms into obviously two different guns here. <clears throat> This is his feet with the two with his two random uh, guns. Doesn't look bad at all. Big old gun for Metroplex to put on his forearm or on his back. Or in city mode, it can be just another turret. Same for this one. And now Slammer. Nice little tank. Nice silver paint all over him. It's pretty good. Nicely detailed. Again, this for some reason mine doesn't want to peg in. It just keeps coming undone. But whatever. It is what it is. <clears throat> I'm not going to be displaying them in this mode anyway. This does articulate and this does move up a little bit. So overall, it's not a bad little thing. I like it. All right, let's get him back into his robot mode. So let's, I find it easier to just pull this off. We're gonna fold his feet. Move his, his feet. Come on. Oh, I forgot to do size comparison, so my bad. Here, let's just do this really fast. Put this back on here. That's a tank, that's a gun, that's a gun. Here's our boy. See how they scale together? My apologies, almost forgot about this. Here's our Hasbro legend. See how they all look together. I mean, these guys don't really matter. They're just guns, giant robot guns. size comparisons now let's get them back into robot mode all right let's pull this out let's get the feet going here which are the ones thing that gives me trouble all the time but you can manage flip these out we got that going on let's on let's on peg here from the top and from the sides and we're going to rotate those out Maybe this is why these things swing out. So you can get clearance. Rotate at the hip, which you can't because there's a st stupid thing in the way. So just pop that out of the way. Put this back on. Flip this down. That'll peg into his torso. Fix the arms accordingly. I don't like 
like this. Give him his one gun that I got. <clears throat> give him his little rockets. Well, I'll we'll give him rockets. Give him another gun. And fix his toesies. And that's one guy. No, six shot. Let's do his legs first, because it's easy. Let's pop off the guns. Flip out the legs. Put away his penis. And there are his legs. This are his upper body. Unpeg from here and here. Swing out. Flip this around. That'll peg in right there. Put that peg right there. Flip the head around. And then you're gonna slide this into the front. And that just sits perfectly like that, nice and secure. You give him his massive guns. Yeah. I mean, he is six shots, so I guess we'll put him there and there. And then I put one of these in the back so it doesn't look so hollow. Like so. And then you have another shield here, so you can give it to him. Like so. I actually like these better as shoulder cannons. But again. You can arm them up however your little heart desires. Your imagination is endless. But I just think he looks better with shoulder cannons than leg cannons. And there you go. And then we'll bring his boy in or their boy in. You gotta look up, buddy. And they look good together, in my opinion. You know? So let us know what you guys think of the review. Uh, do these guys fit in your collection? You know, do you have uh, the Titan Class Metroplex? And do, do they fit in with him? I mean, I believe they were made for him. But I don't have Titan Classes in my collections. I have these Master Mage representations. So they can represent the character. And they fit well with uh, the MFT Omega. So... So these, this is what's going to be for him. These are his little minions. But again, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the review. Until next time, peace.